Let's discuss drug effects and fundamental principles of pharmacology. The following subtopics will be discussed. Drug effects can be divided into two main categories, desired effects and undesired effects. Undesired effects include side effects, adverse effects, and toxic effects. Desired or therapeutic effects are the reason the drug is taken. For example, the therapeutic effect of a statin would be to lower lipids such as LDL in those with hyperlipidemia. Undesired effects are the negative effects of the drug. They are often termed adverse drug reactions, or ADRs. These include side effects, which are mainly annoying but not especially harmful. For example, ACE inhibitors are used to treat high blood pressure and often cause a dry cough as a side effect. More seriously, they may cause hyperkalemia as an adverse effect. Furthermore, ACE inhibitors are contraindicated in pregnancy because they increase the risk for cleft palate and may damage the kidney in the developing fetus. So they may be described as nephrotoxic to the developing fetus. A drug that damages the heart, such as Ipecac, which induces vomiting, is said to be cardiotoxic. And a drug that damages the liver is known to be hepatotoxic. Acetaminophen is hepatotoxic in higher doses. Drugs that cause cancer are carcinogenic, like the antibiotic chloramphenicol. Drugs that are dangerous for the fetus are teratogenic, like isotretinoin, used for acne. Four fundamental principles related to pharmacology include indication, contraindication, site of action, and mechanism of action. The indication for a drug is the condition or disease that the drug treats. For example, the serotonin receptor antagonist on Dancitron may be indicated for someone experiencing nausea and vomiting. So we would say an indication for Dancitron is nausea and vomiting. Contraindication is a condition or reason that a person cannot or should not take a certain drug. For example, if someone had a serious allergic reaction to penicillin, we would say penicillin is contraindicated for this individual. Another example would be aspirin being contraindicated to be used in children or teenagers due to risk for causing rise syndrome. Symptoms of rise include confusion, changes in personality, seizures, vomiting, and liver and brain damage. So we would say aspirin is contraindicated for children and teenagers. Isotretinoin or Accutane is contraindicated in pregnant women because it's a teratogen and causes birth defects. Site of action refers to the specific body location where the drug exerts its effect. For example, site of action for drugs that activate or block alpha-1 receptors is anywhere where the alpha-1 receptors are located, like on smooth muscles lining blood vessels, or on smooth muscles of the urethra and ureter. Mechanism of action, or MOA, refers to how the drug works to exert its desired or therapeutic effect. For example, the drug norepinephrine, an alpha-1 agonist, binds to and activates the alpha-1 receptors on smooth muscles lining blood vessels, resulting in muscle contraction and vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction causes the diameter of the vessel lumen to become smaller. Constriction confines the blood to a smaller space, therefore increasing systemic vascular resistance and blood pressure. The indication for norepinephrine is low blood pressure or hypotension, and it treats this by increasing blood pressure. In summary, we've discussed drug effects including both desired and undesired effects. Desired effects are the reason the drug is taken, or the therapeutic effect. Undesired effects include side effects, adverse effects, and toxic effects. These undesired effects are also known as ADRs. Fundamental principles of pharmacology include indication, which is the reason the drug is taken. Contraindication is something that prohibits the drug from being used by a certain patient. Side of action is the location in the body where the drug exerts its effect. 
mechanism of action, or MOA, describes how, or the method by which the drug exerts its effect. Now for review questions. Pause the video and consider your answers. If you chose the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.